really bad at building. And do you want to feel worse about yourself? Well, if you boot up The Sims 4, head to the gallery, click on hashtag, and type in FGG anything, and then wait a long time. You get the best builds that the gallery has to offer to the point where you feel awful about yourself, so let's feel awful together. The first build we're gonna be looking at is The Arena by Great Zest. Two will enter, or sometimes three, maybe four, if it's a special occasion, but that does not matter. All that matters is only one will Leave. Introducing the arena. Face your fears and fellow competitors in a battle to win the ultimate prize. Or be a scaredy cat and watch from the audience like the widow baby wavy your father always said you were. Are you gonna disappoint him again? Either way, it sure beats any other plans you had for a Friday night. Yes! Death, destruction, murder, and self-deprecation. That is what makes a good build. That's what stands out. And the fact that you made a coliseum somehow? We don't even have circular walls. Sims team, if you're watching, can you get on that? Please, thank you. Here we are. Why do places of death, destruction, and mostly death look so glorious? I love this. I love this so much. Oh, oh I can't enter the Coliseum yet. We have a, a little bit of a souvenir shop over here. What is tomatoes? Oh my god, you can get tomatoes. I don't know if this is for eating in which I would absolutely eat an entire tomato raw, but also it might be to throw at the gladiators down below so that they slip and maybe fall on their knives or something. My god, we were so murderous back in the day. So we've got the glorious statue of whatever goddess these people worship. Probably a goddess of war, not Athena or anything. Probably Zeus. Yes, Zeus was a goddess. We've got these barred off places here which are probably for the gladiators, but we'll go there last. I want to, you know, be a spectator. I don't want to go and fight to my death. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, mailbox. Excuse me? There's been a death. There's been a a very, very gruesome death. Oh my god, this is amazing. Why is this so amazing, actually? People have died here and they've not even bothered to clean them up. They've been rotting and wasting away here for probably centuries, but oh my god, this is a fresh kill. I mean, this is a pretty good view, to be honest. Those, like, light things are in the way, but it's fine. Whatever. This is so cool! How did you even make this round? That's my question. How did you make this entire building round? What is this? Wait, wait. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. This is amazing. I wish that this was usable. I absolutely wish this was. You know I'd never stop doing this. It would never get boring. In fact, I could probably use lightsabers, actually. I'm getting too many ideas. Okay, let's keep checking out the build. This is insane. This is my seat. Thank you. I'm the one in the middle. Um, maybe my boyfriend can sit here and my cat and the rest of you peasants um, over there. Actually, you don't even get admittance. I love how much I bash capitalism, but as soon as I'm the rich, I'm like, don't eat me. This is so cool! There's another level as well. Oh my god, hold on. I gotta go see this. I feel like these seats are better. I feel like if you pay for more up there, you see less. I feel like I see more down here. Ticket pricing, man, is so unfair, even back in the ancient Roman days. Okay, I wanna go see what's going on down here. How do we treat our fighters, our mailboxes, so to speak? Hopefully, we treat them well and with respect. Uh, yep, very well and with respect. There you go. Okay, so at least they can come out and train and then after they're done training, you just lock them back up right here and it'll be fine. Wow, they're not even separated, actually. Like, you both share a room. There would be fights breaking down in here, wouldn't there? Why do I say actually so much? And then once you're geared up, you've had a poo to prepare for your imminent death and or victory, you come up here. <laughs> if I glitch myself into the mailbox, it looks like I stabbed him. This was so cool! and it kind of fits. Like, why does this look like it fits in this world? Maybe if you ignore the highway right there, but oh my god. Well, I'll never build anything as good as this. Nice job. Next build we're gonna be looking at is Le Croissant by Maya SDS. It's a croissant where you can buy a croissant. What more do you need to know? The sub-basement? What sub-basement? You don't need to know anything about the sub-basement. There's always a basement. The building is literally a croissant. How can there be a basement in a croissant? You're supposed to eat it. How do you pronounce croissant because Americans have to say croissant because if I say croissant everyone looks at me like I'm weird but that's how you pronounce it. Croissant! Yummy. Here we are at Le Croissant. This is beautiful. This is, li it literally looks like a croissant. Like it straight up does even though it's like made out of some Batu bullshit. This is so pretty. 
pretty. I cannot understand. Like, okay, just before we even go in, first of all, how did you even make that slide? We speak Simlish in this house, so how did this happen? But not only that, not only does it look beautiful, look at the landscaping. I really want to pay attention to this because I feel like people don't give enough appreciation to landscaping when you don't realize how hard it is the bathrooms are outside. Why are the bathrooms outside? It's gorgeous in here, but I want to go inside and then maybe we'll check the bathrooms later. I don't really need to poo right now. How's it going, mailbox? Are you just like done murdering people today or what was that about earlier? Here we are. This is gorgeous. Like, this looks so lived in and so cozy and stuff. Like, is croissant the only thing you can order here? This is so cute. One of my favorite things, actually, are mismatched chairs like this, where, like, the chairs are all different colors. Everything's a different color, actually. It's like, there's no rhyme or reason to this place. Like, there's just bullshit everywhere, but it looks amazing. How is this possible? And everything is right here. They don't even have, like, a back kitchen or anything. Like, you just cook everything you need to over here. You got two toaster ovens as well. Oh, my God. Some good business expenses. Those are definitely coming off of taxes. I don't really need to go, but I have to go somewhere after this, and if I don't pee beforehand and they don't have a bathroom, I am so fucked. Okay, just a regular bathroom. Nothing to worry about. We'll just check the other one, make sure everybody flushed. Everybody is flushed. They're clean. Uh, it's uh, the store. This one's a bit of a suspicious one. There is no sub-basement. There turns out to be a sub-basement and a toilet. What happened to the sink? Alright, down we go. Down we go. Alright, what is this? Uh, there's no basement. Smith, they said, wow, that turned out to be a lie. Oh, it's just a little office. Nothing weird about this. You just got a bookshelves. You got a desk. Okay, maybe it's not like a basement. Maybe it's just um an underground office in a basement. Oh, one of these is not like the other, and that one's a secret door. Okay, it's always the same routine that could have killed me. All right, down we go, and even more basement basement. Okay, all right. What is this? What is this? Why is like this? Where I go? What's this? What's this one, huh? It's just a shower. That's it. <laughs> In case you needed to shower and get all the croissant flakes off of you, right? All that pastry, just always eating croissant every day. What's this? way? okay. Wow. Wow, this looks familiar. Wow, they tra- Why? This is supposed to be a bakery. Why is there more? Why is there more? Why do we have to do more? Th there's no rhyme or reason now. Oh, okay. We've got a camera. Oh. Oh, this is where uh, the FBI asks you lots of questions. And when they don't like your answer, regardless of how true your answer is, they, um, they tickle ya. They uh, grab some hands and do some DIY with you. They probably help you carve pumpkins. What else does the FBI do with you? Uh, they give you um some cologne. Yeah, this is wholesome. And the chains. Oh, you might be asking what the chains are about. Um, They just like the noise that it makes. Have you ever jiggled some chains and it goes chicka chicka chicka? Yeah, it's so nice. And uh, this is a lie detector. That's it. They don't like people when people lie, but lying is bad anyway. And all of this is um spare parts. Yes, for their... RC helicopters. That's it. I'm leaving now. And don't forget to sanitize on your way out. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's just a what the fuck. Why? Why? Next build we're gonna be looking at is the secret fairy hideaway by Dracons. Don't step on the flowers. Fairies live there. This little fairy has built a home right next to a discarded cup. Humans will throw away the weirdest things, but hey, it makes for a nice little big garden. That <laughs> is so cute. I know that this is the question we've all been asking, but Sims 4 fairies pack when? Why does it take so long? Why are you taking so long, Sims? It's not like you don't know. It's not like we haven't said anything like you're misinformed because if we didn't say anything how else would you know but i'm saying it and the community has been saying and i just want some itty bitty fairies in my life is that too much to ask but no by all means please more kits that's exactly what we want i love kits kits are the best part of gameplay there is no gameplay that's what's the ask i'll shut up now here we are at the little fairy hideaway. Oh my god, everything is oversized. Everything because it's a little, we're tiny now. This is actually Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Am I too old to make that reference or what's going on? This is a cup. This is a cup. It's broken as well. How even? Look how big the mushrooms are. But how did you make a cup and then also make a crack on the cup? This is a cup crack instead of a butt crack. This is so freaking cute. I don't think you understand how much I like fairies. 
series. I don't like them that much, actually, but the aesthetic is here. Like, they could have easily come with Cottage Living, but they didn't. So that's that's kind of upsetting, and that's a really cute mailbox, by the way. But we're gonna go in and see how fairies live their lives. This is so cute. This is immediately the cutest thing I've ever seen. Everything is normal sized, but it feels tiny. Doesn't this feel tiny? I don't know what about it makes it feel tiny, considering everything here is normal sim size. Like, you can have a sim that lives here, but everything feels so small. And everything is so well done, and the clutter is so well done, and the colors. This is my house. I've decided I am moving in now. This is literally the perfect build. I'm sorry. Look at this bathroom. It looks like moss. You did this on purpose. You knew exactly what you were doing, and you did it, and that upsets me because I could never. I could never. You could never. You watching could never, but this person did. I am I am a loss for words. This is so cute. I love the windows. The windows are so nice, and I couldn't ever find drapes that, like, fit over them, but this works beautifully? <laughs> How? This is so cute, and all the plants everywhere. Like, I know it's not, like, a coliseum or something, but the attention to detail is insane. Like, I would have never thought to put books down. Fairies can't read this far as I know, but apparently they can. Oh, this is so cute. And there's a pond down here and didn't even notice. This was short and sweet. This was so short, but this was oh so sweet. And you know what? Short things can be nice too. We don't have to look at crazy big builds. Time to be a bumblebee. <laughs> this was perfect. Next build we're gonna be looking at is Oasis Zikron by Kit Kat 8. Tall palm trees swaying in the wind and the scorching heat of the midday sun. Welcome to this luxurious oasis, a wholesome and welcoming space for all seekers and wayfarers who are in desperate need of shelter or just a splash of water. Art, sport, meditation, education. The sheik watching over the oasis knows it all and has it all. So what are you waiting for? Search this bright jewel hidden in the wide dunes of endless desert and hope to get there alive. Oh, I love this type of architecture. Hello. As an Arab woman myself, it makes me so happy to see these type of buildings in the game. It's annoying that we only had the Oasis kit and not an entire world, you know, like how Sims 3 World Adventures let you go to the El Simahara Desert. <laughs> Where is that? Sometimes I want my culture in games too, you know. And I know that Arab culture has definitely been in games before, but maybe this time not in Call of Duty. Thank you. Oh my god, the sheer size of this baby. Welcome to the hidden oasis. This is gorgeous. Hello. I, I don't even know how you get in. Actually, I think this is the back of the build, but you couldn't tell because there is so much detail. I cannot wait to go inside. Okay, this looks like the entrance. I have the build backwards. They couldn't even give you like a regular path. Whoever made this was like, let's make it fancy. Let's put a lot of detail. This is insane. Absolutely. It's so big. That is what somebody might have said. Here we are. Oh my god, this is just so grand. Considering that this type of architecture, even coming with a hidden oasis kit or backyard oasis kit or something hidden backyard splashies palooza kit is very limited, but the fact that you were able to make an entire build out of this is insane. Look at this pool. This is like the nicest looking pool I've ever seen in my life. And it's just a pool. It's just in a weird shape and that makes it amazing. Oh, I could chill here for hours. I hate the heat. You know, being an Arab, you think, oh my god, you must love the desert. You must love the sun. Get it away from me. I cannot cope with it. However, I could cope with it in these conditions. In these conditions, I could survive. There's like a courtyard within a courtyard within a courtyard. Like, look at this. Look how fancy this stuff is. This is absolutely amazing. Oh, there's a kitchen. Sorry, food. Uh, this is my top priority right now. Looking at the building, looking at cool stuff. No, I'm actually genuinely hungry. This is a cafe. It just clicked that this is a cafe and I enjoy this. I would eat here 100%. Let us go up the stairs. Oh, wait, no, there's something on the other side. Excuse me. Sorry, going past all of this amazing detail. Like, look at that. There's a chess area. This is amazing. Sorry, um, there's another cafe. This is what I wanted. More food and alcohol. Hmm. What's all this? What's all this fancy dude? Uh, there's a spa? Please tell me this is functional. I would cry. I mean, my game would not be able to run this in live mode. I'm sorry. My game would literally die, but it's nice to dream. A girl can dream. You can bathe with your bestie. Ah, oh, this place is amazing. Oh, no, somebody could literally like watch you you bathe with your besties and take a poo. It's okay. We can live with that. Some things you have to give up for luxury. Sometimes it's your morals. But for me, it's the privacy to be able to take a shit in front.
front of my friends. All right, let's go upstairs now. I can't even begin to imagine what could possibly, like, th how there could be more. I'm going so fast. Oh my god, like, the amount of spaces you can sit and chill is ridiculous. There's a gem. I'm traveling in the middle of the desert, and I find this wonderful oasis, and the first thing you want me to do is work out? Yeah, <laughs> get out of here. I'll sweat just by breathing, thank you. And a sauna. This would kill you. I'm sorry. A sauna in the middle of the desert? You guys are insane. All right, let's check out what these doors are. Oh, oh, are these like hotel rooms? This is like a hotel. I mean, it looked like a hotel to be honest, but I really did not register that. This is absolutely gorgeous. Are their rooms all gonna be the same? Which is fine if they're, if they are, but it turns out they're not. They're all different. What? This is amazing. I'd never leave. I'm sorry. And I'm not paying for the rooms. I'm sorry. I'm staying here for free and forever. Oh, the colors in here. It's so nice. How do you like manage space this well? I, I don't even know. And every bathroom is different. And even the staircase looks nice. I put a railing on that though. Sorry, that's not very safe. All right, up the stairs one more time. What have we got here? This is so nice. The vibes are immaculate. This is a freaking library. This is a library. I did, you could read. I didn't know that there were spaces made for reading in hotels. Who comes to a hotel to read? Oh my god, you can play games. All right, I'm here. I'm bringing my games. Yoga area plus extra pool. Why is this place so amazing? You could literally do everything. The only thing that I can't see is like a torture room. And that makes me so happy. Because all of these builds that I review end up being very dark. And sometimes you just need a little bit of positivity in your life, including food. There's food. I'm happy. You can chillax in a tower. Get out of here. <laughs> Dining rooms, more food, oh, the painting room. Every hobby is supported here. Every hobby except homicide. You can give speeches up here. Hello, I would like to declare that all of this is mine and nobody's allowed. This is my bill. Thank you. Goodbye. Absolutely breathtaking. The last one we're going to be looking at is a pit by Cliste96. It's a pit for digging. From digging, on digging, why digging, we digging for the upcoming construction kit. Digger is to be sold separately. Please apply. It's a pit. I already told you, today we're going to be looking at builds that make you disappointed in your own builds and make you wish, why can't I build like that? Really, I just want to attack your self-confidence and I feel like this is the ultimate build to end the video on. The last Oasis one we saw, what about pit? Th this is it. It's the pit. It's for digging. Is this not the most immaculate thing you've ever seen? There is nothing like this in the world. There is nothing like this in the gallery. I bet if you even try to recreate this build, it would be nowhere close to this mastery. As only one person in the world would be able to make this, and this was Cleese Day 96. Spectacular. So well detailed. I mean, terrain tools, first of all. If a builder even uses terrain tools, you know that they are the shit. Officially, they are the actual shit. There will never be a build like this again. Even looking up from inside the pit is truly a different experience than anything you could ever experience. I've never seen anything so beautiful. Unfortunately, this is all the time I have today to look at these builds, but please check out this hashtag. These are some of the best builds I've ever seen on the gallery. Like, you guys really stepped it up and made some amazing things, and I'm so sad I didn't get to look at literally every single one of these. Like, look at this one. It's a fortune teller's caravan. There's not gonna be a build coming competition this week, but I hope that you stay hydrated, you stay happy, don't be an asshole on Twitter, and bye-bye! <laughs>